Hello everyone, my name is Tim B. Green and this is Crush It Club episode 48. Make better decisions. So now this is inspired actually by uh, Daniel Kahneman and his latest book. I know there's other authors, I just can't remember them. And Daniel Kahneman, he's famous, he outshines them. I know his name, I know who he is. So anyway, um, I just wanted to do one clip that's an insight from this book that is so simple yet so profound uh, because if you don't know who Daniel Kahneman is, if you're not a behavioral economics geek or whatever it is that makes you know Daniel Kahneman, um, he invented the branch of behavioral economics, showing that people are not rational actors in terms of econo uh, economy and decision making and economic decisions, but emotional actors. And he's the fellow, if I believe correctly, who invented prospect theory. So in his latest book, Noise, he talks about mostly how noise is an even greater effect, has a greater negative effect on the accuracy and quality of the decisions people make even than biases which 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 is what he's actually famous for what he won his nobel prize for uh, from the work that he did that made up his book thinking fast and slow with uh amos tversky remember that name um so essentially what it is is this he talks about a couple really amazing yet simple techniques to improve i don't know if we could say this is a noise reduction technique but it is a judgment technique that's been tested scientifically which is why i want to talk about it here and that is by comparing two things to each other rather than by rating things from one to ten i'll give you an example of that after i take a drink of my tea okay here we are, we have all these, I, I'm gonna move out of the way so you can see the background for a moment. So we have the scales, traditional scales, time balancing against money, just happens to be the, uh, the stock picture that kind of talks about this and represents what I wanted. And all these different crayons and or pencil crayons. And people might say this represents diversity sure it could represent that but what Kahneman said in his book was that if people try to rate things like let's look at these these colors these pencil pencil crayon colors and if you wanted to rate them and say you know what i want to organize these these pencil colors by beauty by the ones that i like the best if i did that i might i, I kind of have two alternatives i could do this by saying okay I'm going to rate these pencils on a beauty scale from 10 to 1. So 10 is the most beautiful color, and 1 is the ugliest color. And if you do this, it would look something like this. Well, for me, looking at all the pencils, okay, this, is a, this pencil would probably be a 10. It's like a kind of a cobalt blue, which is one of my favorite colors. 9, yeah, 8, 7, 6. Seven, three, two, two, and so on, right? Just these are arbitrary, but based on how I actually feel, right? So this this sort of purple blue here is to me a very beautiful color. We can do that, but it, what uh, Kahneman showed was that, or what he he talked about research that showed that we are not very reliable when we use an arbitrary numerical scale like that, that my judgment of how beautiful this color is may be inaccurate to how little I like some of these, this yellow green and these yellows over here. And what he said was, we can judge things far more accurately on a this to this scale, like a balancing scale. So instead I go, okay, so let's look at this. Which one do I like better? Do I like this blue or this blue, this blue? Okay, so which one do I like better? This yellow or this yellow? 
uh, okay, I'm going to say I like this yellow better. And by comparing things like that, one to another and picking the preferred one. Now, this could be decisions. It could be strategies. That's why this becomes really powerful. But you take all of these pencils and you go one at a time because they're colors and it's quite simple. For me, I can just go, okay, this is my favorite color. Done. But oftentimes you get things that have pros and cons, say um, uh, exercising every day versus exercising every second day. And there's pros and cons to both. But if you had more decisions to make, if you'd done a brainstorm where you were looking at uh, solutions, that you may find that it's really difficult. And doing that 1 to 10 scale, you tend to be a lot less accurate and a lot more noisy in your judgment when you do it that way. And then you go, well, let's put all the 10s together and then we'll judge them together. Turns out that if you just judge any two things, any two things you want to compare, to one another as a comparison. I like this better. I, I don't like this as much. And do it that way. Humans are actually much more accurate, much more consistent, and much less noisy in making their decisions. So this is a, a brilliant, simple, accessible technique that anybody can use to more accurately judge any uh, multiple things to each other, but only by doing it specifically two items at a time and picking the preferred item and repeatedly doing that until you have a pile of preferred items and a pile of less preferred items. And then you can take out of the most preferred items, compare them one to the other all the way along until you find your favorite one. And it's interesting because no, I hadn't heard of this, but it's simple. If you do this, you can accurately, more accurately research backed find something that is a preferable decision or a preferable option out of many available to you uh, with more accuracy and less noise. That's it for Crush It Club 48. Make better decisions. My name is Tim B. Green. Bye for now.